In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce your Minecraft world file size. So the first thing you want to do is you actually want to go to the main menu of Minecraft. So it's really important that you close out of your world before you begin this process. Also, while you're here, I recommend that you make a copy of your world regardless of whether you're on Minecraft Bedrock or Java. By the way, this process will work on both versions. However, it is only going to work if you have a PC. That is the only catch. But anyways, if you're on Bedrock Edition, all you need to do is you need to press on that edit button over here, then scroll down and select on duplicate world just like so. Again, it's always good practice to make a copy of your world whenever you're making modifications. Anyways, once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser like you normally would. Then all you want to do is you want to look up Amulet Editor Minecraft just like so, then go to this official website over here called amuletmc.com and then go ahead and install it for your platform. So if you're on Windows, you want to go ahead and press on this button that says release and then it is going to begin installing. Amulet is a free application where you're able to make modifications to your world. I am not sponsored by them or anything like that. But while you wait for it to download, feel free to check out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to start a 24 7 unlimited slot server for you and all of your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that you're able to customize every single aspect of your Minecraft server. You can make it Java only, Pedrock only, include mods, mod packs, and plugins all with a click of a single button. Simple Game Hosting is incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support. You're able to create lifelong memories with your friends playing Minecraft and at the moment they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. So when you download Amulet, it's actually going to appear as a .zip file. So you may need to go ahead and extract it. You can extract it using the built-in Windows software by just right clicking then press on extract to just like so and then eventually you should get this folder over here that says amulet again anyways once you're done with that all you want to do is you want to open up the amulet folder just like so then you want to scroll down until you see amulet underscore app dot exe then you just want to double click on it just like so it is then going to open up this window over here but do not worry all you need to do is you need to wait for amulet to load in all right once amulet loads in it's going to give you this screen right over here and it's basically going to suggest creating backups to your world which we already did so let's just go ahead and press on i understand and now from here all you want to do is you want to press on open world all right then it is actually going to look between all of your device files to find your minecraft world so you'll notice that over here we have it for both java and bedrock we also have minecraft preview and education edition as well so there is a lot of great options but let's go ahead and take a look at minecraft bedrock right over here and yep here is the world that we were working with previously so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on your world just like so all right there you go and then if you look in the top menu you will notice that we will now have the actual world open up over here and you'll notice that we'll get this left menu so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the left menu and select on 3D editor just like so. It is now going to go ahead and give you a 3D preview of your Minecraft world. So yeah, you may need to go ahead and wait a little bit, but yep, as you're able to tell, it's literally a preview of the entire world over here. And by default, it is going to look something like this. Now, what you guys want to do is you actually want to go to this top menu and where it says change view, select on it so we get a 2D view instead because we're going to be working with a 2D view in order to actually make the adjustments needed and to trim the world size. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deleting chunks that we are not using and then that is going to significantly reduce the world size. So if you have a big world or something like that, you can actually delete chunks that you don't use and that is going to free up space. These could be chunks that you loaded in when you were like looking for a woodland mansion, for example, or whenever you were exploring and you don't go to that area anymore, you can actually delete those chunks to save up a lot of memory. So to do that, you want to go to the bottom menu and select on chunk right over here. And that is going to allow you to select between all of these different chunks over here. So look, we can go ahead and select on this or we can select on a singular chunk it really is up to you and over here we do have the undo and redo option in case you make an error or something like that so yeah you guys could also go ahead and hold down on your mouse and scroll to look at all the other chunks that are in your world and what i recommend that you guys do is just select a large portion of the world that you no longer use so let's say for example we don't use this part of the world we can go ahead and select on it then go to the left menu and select on delete chunks just like so and that is going to delete the chunks however next time you load into the game it is going to regenerate it so 
let's just go ahead and do that really quickly all right then it's going to say something that looks like this go ahead and press on no and that is because we already made a backup of our minecraft world again it's really important that you make a backup so just go ahead and press on no and now it is going to begin deleting all of those chunks <clears throat> and if you guys want to take it a step forward if you don't for example use the nether dimension that much you can actually delete the nether dimension uh as well so over here we can go ahead and select on the nether and you can basically delete chunks from there as well you can also delete chunks from there as well in order to free up space but anyways once you're 100 satisfied with the amount that you deleted from your world what you want to do is you want to go to the left menu and select on save changes just like so then what you want to do is you want to press on close world right over here once you made all the necessary changes then close out of amulet then go ahead and close out of it one more time and just open up minecraft like you normally would and yeah if we actually go ahead and load into our world you'll notice that the file size is going to be smaller so originally the world was 1.7 megabytes and we were able to reduce it to 1.5 megabytes just like that now obviously this is a small world but if you have a world that has like hundreds of gigabytes this could seriously make a difference so again just keep that in mind and now let's just go ahead and load into the world that we did make the necessary changes to all right and when you load in the world here is how things will look like you will now notice that we will not have any of those blocks that we had previously and it is is basically going to give a fresh new start to your minecraft world if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial